Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire, the channel that spreads the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the talent he has given us and we are here to learn and practice again. And in today's video, we want to take a look at how to use the sustain pedal, specifically for gospel music. Yes, uh, I think one of you drew my attention to the fact that I have to uh, do a video on how to use a sustain pedal and i perfectly agree with this because guys we can learn all the chords in this world learn all the skills and everything but if you are not able to control your pedal well you will end up destroying the beauty of what you are doing so pedal control is very essential now as you can see from the screen anytime i step on my sustain pedal uh, that's green to light right right below the the the, the MIDI keyboard, you see, yeah. So anytime it, it's anytime that green light comes, know that I'm stepping on the sustain pedal. See, anytime I remove my leg, the light will disappear. So this is because you cannot see my leg. So so let's get started. But before we even start, I want to put this across. Some people think the use of sustain pedal is for only pianists. So you go for programs and then you see the. Uh, Let's say three keyboard players, and it's only the pianist who is using the sustain pedal. The aux, most, most especially the aux guys, you sometimes you see them not using the sustain pedal because I, I don't know, but at least it is wrong. There is nothing like aux guys cannot use sustain pedal. Everybody can use a sustain pedal. In fact, we all us to use a sustain pedal. The usage is what matters. How, how you use it, because when you are playing some parts and those kind of stuff, sustain pedal is really needed. Even with some of the synth tunes, sometimes you may need a sustain pedal. So it's very essential that you get a sustain pedal, whether you are an aux player or whoever you may be. Okay. Another thing I want to clarify over here is that some people think we don't use sustain pedal when it comes to praises. Because praises, praises, or maybe high life, is generally a fast tempo. So you cannot use sustain pedal. Please, it's very wrong. If you check out our uh, praise and high life course on our website, so you can do so, like musicempire.com on our website. The link is down in the description below. If you check it, you see that we, or even if you take a look at our praise and worship videos, eh, sorry, praise and highlight videos on this channel, I use sustain pedal a lot, yes. And all these legends around also use sustain pedal, especially when you want to apply contemporary course to your praises, yes. But there's a, a moment or a time where you don't have to use it, and then there's a time that you have to use it. Knowing the difference between these two is very vital. Okay. So, uh, technically, how do you even use a sustain pedal? I was never taught how to use a sustain pedal or something. Maybe it's something that you have to figure out yourself or it comes to experience. But, I mean, I can give you some guidelines over here. For instance, let's be in the key of C. And, and let's, let's take a look at some things. For example, like, if I want to play, let's say I'm, I'm just playing around a major, major skill, like... Uh, How do I use a sustain pedal in something like this? So take a look. Even before I uh, I play my first chord, my leg will be on the pedal. So it's 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 more of um, call and response something. The 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 leg and the fingers or the hands are doing a call or call and response something. So it means that somebody calls somebody response. Somebody calls somebody response. So in this case. Let's see, the sustain pedal is calling first, right? So I, I step on the pedal, then I play my chord. You see, now the moment I, I, I finish playing the chord, I release my leg. So like this, let's say I, want, I even want to add note to the chords I'm playing, so I can do... Then I move my leg instantly. Now before I go to the next chord, I will step on it again. After that, I take off my leg, you see? Then I, I step on it again. So when I, when I do this stepping and removing, it gives that kind of balance. You should know that you don't have to overstep on the sustain pedal so that everything, is be, everything becomes too sustained. For example, you see, my leg is constantly on the pedal. Eventually, that sustaining sound will build up and it will, it will even cover 
the, 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 the sound of the chords that you are playing. So there will not be this clarity and precision with what you are playing. It will not be clear to the listeners. Okay. But when you're able to do so I want to play, so I, I step on it first. One, then I move it. You see, so then I move it, then I step on it again. Before the next chord. Then I move it, then I step on it again before the next chord. You see? So so now let me give you this exercise for you to start with. Uh, we step on it, then play the chord. Then we remove and step before the next chord comes. I hope you understand, right? You step on it before you play the first chord. Then you remove your leg and step on it again before the second chord comes. Now you're coming to play through the major scale. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three. One. And I step. Now after playing the chord, I remove and I step. I step, remove, step, remove, step, remove, step on it, remove, step on it, okay, let's go again, one, two, go, so one, remember to step on it before you play, so one, two, go, remove, step, remove, step, you don't necessarily have to follow the chords I'm playing. Just do a doing if I so like to do. Just play through the major skill, right? There's a pedal that is important here. Remove step. Remove step. Remove and step. Remove step. Remove and step. Okay. Now we can take the tempo a little bit faster. So remove step. Remove step. Remove step. Step. Remove step. So there should be this remove and step on it again. Let me say principle. Before you go to your next chord. Now let's take a look at uh, a song. For instance, I don't, I don't even know any song in mind. But, but let's just use, let's say you are Alpha and Omega. So we have. Um, now you see, my leg is already on the pedal. So. See then. You see, I'm doing the remove and step principle, but just like this song is irregular and fast, faster than the exercise we're doing, so it will look faster. So let, let's take it slowly. So my leg is on it. Then now sometimes the the chords can be very continuous. So for that one, just make for for example the you. I don't mind stepping on the U are alpha like that this U are alpha part. I don't mind stepping on it, but as soon as I end on the U are alpha like this, I will do my remove and step before I continue with the next one. So remove and step, okay? Then remove and step. So you see the remove and step is very fast like this. I'm not doing remove step. It's like very fast, pa, pa. You see. So, you see, you see, and then the moment I play the chord, I just do pa, pa, like fast. You see, so. Myself after the chord, so I can have um, yeah, like let's see, move and step, move and step, then move and step, then move and step, okay, move and step, you see. It's very difficult to focus on the move and step while whilst playing and talking. Yeah, but I, like I'm, I hope you are getting the concept. So whatever key that you are in, let's say C sharp, it should be part of you. So you see, the movement is very fast. 
He's like, huh. Now I'm just I'm just doing some. I don't know what I'm doing, but don't look at the course. Today we are not learning chords or anything. Look at this. Uh, what's on the screen? The, the pedal on the screen, and then compare it to the sounds and see how they come very fast and go. Right after the end of every chord I play, right. So. Uh, The more I move faster with my play, the more my legs also move faster doing this. That's why I said start slowly and then build the speed. So one, two, then you see. Remove step. Remove step. Remove step. Remove step. Then one. So now imagine we do it very fast. You be. That's the same also. Let's say we are doing praises. Let's say in the key of F, I'm doing praises. When you want to do this, that's not when you have to use the sustain pedal. But then a time will come when you have to do. You see, when you have to uh, apply those contemporary chords, that's when you use it. Or let's even say you are groovy. Like, I don't know. Let's say you are groovy. I don't know. Like, uh... I'm in the key of C now. You see, no sustain. And why do you think I'm not using a sustain pedal here? Because I don't want to sustain these notes. I'm just, you see, hitting the note, that's all. But look. So what did I do over there? You see, I was just doing... But I wanted to get this sound. Wah, wah. Because of the wah, like I have to get the sustain pedal. So like... You see? The sustain pedal comes here, and then the next one, I want to sustain it. So at the end of the day, now it becomes a matter of choice. Then... Now I stop it. So guys, at least if you haven't learned anything at all in this lesson, I just want you to know that before you start playing, you will step on a sustain. When you play the chord, then you step, you release. You play the next chord, you step, you release. You play the next chord, you step, you release. Okay? So just try this exercise using the major skill slowly and then build the speed and then keep stepping and releasing, stepping and releasing. Okay? Just try it. I know you'll get it and then you become familiar with it. Okay? So I hope this lesson blesses you. Uh, do well to visit musicempire.com. Check out our wonderful courses over there. By the grace of God, we have a lot of courses on the website now. So check them out. It will really bless your music or piano life. Okay? And subscribe if you haven't. Turn on notifications. And share for others to be blessed as well.